Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben. I'm a big fan of Luxor Distillery. Oh. You're a big fan of Luxor Distillery. Yeah, I think I've, I, I don't really know a ton about them, but I've liked what I've had. We recently had the, what, Ezra Brooks 99. Yeah, that was I good. I really liked it. It was a really good one. So I've had a bottle sitting on my shelf for like a year called Old Ezra 7. It's 117 proof, which maybe they should have called it Old Ezra 117, or I don't know. I think they're more referring to the age oh, there. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. If only we had a bottle oh, nearby right. to talk Let's about. Let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. You know, the viewers are actually watching me watch the bottle and it's so awkward. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed that. Anyway, this is Old Ezra, seven year. Bam. Um, yeah, so like you said, Lux Row, yep. which was recently purchased, or not recently, but within the last yeah, year. No, it's only been a few months. They were bought by MGP. Oh. But this particular bottle, uh, Supposedly, was sourced from Heaven Hill. Hello, Heaven Hill. Oh. So this is pre being purchased because that would be weird if MGP sourced bourbon from someplace else. That seems counterproductive. You know what though? The ultimate allocated, you know, people go crazy for it online. Like MGP sourced from source buys from Lux sourced. Row and then sources some Buffalo Trace <laughs> juice. You know? Oh, I've got it. I've got it. this. Is perfect. Okay. MGP buys Lux Row, yeah. and instead of using their own distillate, even Lux Rows or MGPs, they source all the George T. Stag that never became George T. Stag <laughs> this year, and then bottle it up as some rare release. What is going to happen to that stuff? Who knows? I, it better be bad. It better be bad. You know it's not bad. They release it as something... It'll be the new E.H. Taylor release. I think I saw a meme online. It was like, oh, I've, I've seen bottle of E.H. Taylor and said, you know, George C. Stag rejection Reject. batch. Yeah. Anyway, that's a completely different distillery. And... Totally. Okay, so I'm. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> We're just saying before I started this video. Usually we take the plastic off beforehand because we always get our ass kicked by the plastic. And now it's we're like, oh, it's one of those you know pull tab ones. That's easy. And now, of course, the stuff sticks to the top. We just can't win. We really have to just do that every time. Do you want to explain pull tabs to non-Minnesota people? Well, no, I mean the pull, not pull tab, like <laughs> the gambling pull tab. See, no, seriously, that's a, that, it must be glued on. It's weird. The foil is glued to the top of the stopper. Oh. It's a crazy world, except it's not. Anyway, problem solved. Well, it's nice to know it wasn't just me. It wasn't just you. Yeah, um, pull tabs. For those who don't know, or something that it's is a, a Minnesota thing. thing. Well, maybe more than Minnesota. I'm not from Minnesota. I just call it home. All right, back to the bourbon. Yeah. Seven year, you say? Yeah, and what would you say? 117, 117 proof. 117 yeah. proof. And a Heaven Hill Nashville. I think my expectations are high. Yeah, if they absolutely. mess this up, then you know. Definitely big Heaven Hill fans. Got a Heaven Hill nose to it for sure. Getting a little. Sometimes you don't want to say the obvious notes because, like, you don't want to like push something that you push a narrative. Yeah, push a narrative. There's a, or there like you you're just saying that because it's a quintessential yeah, note yeah, exactly. that you're supposed to get. Yeah. Caramel, nutty, yeah. peanut shell. Don't say smooth. I'm not I getting smooth. I'm actually rarely getting, ever say smooth. Yeah. Um, pretty good alcohol burn. And yeah. Appropriate for the, the 117 proof. 117 proof, yeah. All right, let's go in for the taste here, see what happens. Getting good wood sugars. Turn to cinnamon. Turns to brown sugar. Takes a left turn at toffee notes. It's like GPS direction. And down the road of a peppery finish. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> arrived at your destination. I need to take another sip of this before I say anything, because that was weird. 
Oh, I apologize. No, not you. I mean, my the the <laughs> flavor that I got was weird, or not the flavor, but more the. Give me a second. The picture in your head doesn't match. Mm -hmm. Okay, there I got a little more of a full. The first sip just kind of had all this burn up front, and then it was smooth on the back end of it. It almost kind of dropped off, but that was just the first sip. So, yeah, really, really nice. You said wood sugars, mm -hmm. like barrel char. Yeah. Um, it's got a great color, by the way. It is seven years, and so they're cheating by keeping it in the barrel so long. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for doing that, by the way. We love it. Yeah. Because seven years is a good spot. It is. Bourbon. It is a really good spot. You know, another good spot is right here. Yeah. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Um, but it's got a nice, um, you said cinnamon. Uh, yeah, I think you kind of hit, you know, you can't have made all the stops on your little <laughs> description here. I didn't here. say leather yet. I don't really get much of a leather out of it. No, yeah, I, the earthy, I totally, okay, so another path that we did not take. Nah, we don't need to go down the paths we didn't take. It's sweet, but it's not carnival cotton candy sweet. No, it's, it's more brown sugar, almost molasses -y, Cause it's dark. It is dark. It's rich. got um, the caramel, or not the caramel, the cherry note is real subtle. It's very light. Yeah, I'm not even really getting much yeah. to be perfectly yeah. honest. I'm really getting mostly a lot of, just a lot of barrel, a lot of barrel spice. Char, oak spice. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice, um, I like that high proof bite and it's really, really good at that. It is. Where it's not just alcohol, but it's got a nice, you know, f strong flavor with that nice bite that it... It's alcohol, but has a real nice caramel that comes with it to punch you in the face. Yeah, it's wrapped in flavors rather than just, yeah. you know, ethanol, Yeah. you know. Um, Almost getting like, well, it's at the point where it's getting a little bit of evaporation straight off the tongue, and so you get a little bit of the fizzy mm -hmm. note on the tongue. Yeah, I've had, um, <coughs> excuse me. We were just talking about one recently that I mentioned almost had like a, you said fizzy. And that's something I get too, where it's almost like a, the same kind of burn or tickle or whatever you get on your tongue with like a carbonated mm -hmm. drink. Mm -hmm. Not that this tastes carbonated, but it, you know what I mean? Like it, yeah, it's Come just on, kind you of can gives you that. Keep pushing, keep yeah. pushing. <laughs> tastes like Coca-Cola. Oh, this is really good. It is really good. So this one's not terribly easy to find, at least not around here. I've never seen this in the wild around here. A friend of mine found it in North Dakota and picked it up. We think 50 to 60 bucks. I actually don't have it in my list, so I have to add it. So, um, And I can maybe try to look up the price and throw it on the screen if that's sure. way off. But I mean, if, if it was 50 or 60 bucks, it's definitely a nice, a nice bourbon for that. It's um, the one thing that I think is unique, and this is not a negative, but it is, if you're a bourbon nerd, this feels like it has a really nice entry flavor, a really good mid flavor, and a dropping off finish. Like it doesn't have a long finish. Yeah, I would agree with that. Like, but well, it's, it's kind of like what I was saying with that first sip. The reason I went in the second time is like, it was all like this rich it's flavor, kind of but it immediately front, dropped front off. It's front loaded and then drops off. There is still a little bit of flavor that holds on. Do you know what's but interesting in, in that regard? Like all of the extra burn and flavor is on the tip of my tongue. And then the rest, the whole rest is just- Your tongue is worthless. Kind of gone. Yeah, it's just <laughs> dead, you know? <laughs> but it is interesting. And that's kind of what I got on that first sip. It's like all the proof and all the flavor just hits the tip of your tongue and then just kind of- I agree. You know, but there's a lot going on there. I mean, it's a lot of flavor. Yeah. You know, I, I don't- I don't necessarily know if there's a lot of different flavor notes going on for me, but what it is, is really good. It's a good punch. It is the traditional spice flavors and some caramel. It has a very traditional bourbon note. <laughs> Thank you, you know? for pausing. Yeah. Um, and some nice spice to it. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's not a whole bunch of, like you said, there's not really much of a, you know, a cherry sort of note or anything like that, but it's really good at what it does. I agree. You know, so yeah, I, I I'd sip this all day. Yeah, I like that. Um, again, I don't know how accessible this is everywhere. Sure. So, yeah, I mean, if you, if you find it, that's it's a good, uh, especially if if it, that price point is fifty to sixty dollars. 
Mike for Kings. 117 proof Heaven Hill, a you know, barrel strength Heaven Hill product, that's pretty good. I, my concern is I bought this a year ago and we just opened it obviously. Mm -hmm. It's probably gonna change. Yeah. Because of new ownership and really awesome ownership. And so whether it gets sourced from a different distillery or they start doing it themselves, who knows? So this is one I might keep an eye on because I really like it and I think it's gonna change a bit. Yeah, yeah, if I see a bottle of this for a reasonable price, I'll probably pick one up. Yeah, totally. For sure. All right, well, this has been Old Ezra Seven Year on the Bourbon Note with Ben. I'm Greg. Cheers. Did you forget your name for a second? Then? No, I was I was trying to be funny <laughs> and, and probably failed horribly. <laughs> well, you didn't say anything, so that, that was, you know, you, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Is that what the quote is from Wayne Gretzky? You should probably leave I'm that. leaving all that leave in. Leave all the way. that in there. <laughs>